How are YouTube? Prince Machiavelli here. Uh, we're just picking up on the prologue. This is part three of my playthrough, at least. Part two of the actual prologue. So in the last episode, we built up a force here. The Huns ended up attacking the Ostrogoths. And we allocated some points to our general uh, character traits and skills. So now we've got this new mission. Um, to do with governing the settlement. Public order here is low, chieftain. You must take steps to placate the people, lest they take up arms against us. So public order seems to work in a similar way. It's a bit more accessible in terms of the menu here. So most of our Public order issues are coming from conquest and then instability, which is going to drop away. Financial incentives may help appease the citizens of Petrodava towards our rule, chieftain. A reduction in tax levels or a provincial tax break will surely warm us to them. Mm, looks like trading with no one. So, we're going to reduce the tax rate. The situation in Petrodava may be relieved with the appointment of a province governor, chieftain. Promote a member of your court to the position, and they can enact edicts to calm the population. Promote a capable man from your court to take command in Petrodava. The choice is yours. Hmm. Alright, so what, these guys are statesmen. I guess that means that they're not in the field. Does that mean they're actually governors? Champion Rider, Relentless Attacker, Fearless Warrior. I'm guessing they're all uh, generals. About 10. Let's see what this guy's like. Research rate plus five percent. And this guy. No, I think we got the research rate guy. He seems a bit more civically minded. And as we'll put the other dude in the other one. Oh, it's not gonna let me. An excellent choice, and not a moment too soon. Your man in charge can begin to issue edicts that will protect the population. Ah, uh, that's cool. So you actually need a general in Ready for battle. the province to issue an edict. And you don't have to be able to control the whole thing. My recruiting plus one. So, potentially public orders one to go for. Let's go and line up that one. Get some religion converted. Now let's see how the people of Petrodava respond to the olive branch we have offered. Okay. Is that it? It's always good when they uh, don't really tell you what you're meant to be doing, but. Turn, see what happens. Yeah, run away, Huns. I'm sure you guys aren't going to be a threat. Great. The people go hungry, chieftain. With the capture of Petrodava, there is no longer enough food to go around. Increasing food production is vital if a revolt is to be avoided. Achieve a global food surplus current value minus 35. Well, that just doesn't sound good. There's been sufficient growth in Petrodava to expand the settlement. A farm may be constructed there to alleviate the food shortage. OK, 
Okay. Then the sudden binding on building slot. I think we just did that. Farm. Where's the farm? Farmstead. So that gives us a 16 food. It's still not going to be enough. Our growing power allows us to field more armies, Chieftain. Let us take advantage and recruit another general. Yeah, let's go him. Gonna be recruiting some people. An excellent choice. This man. Our facilities in this town are damaged. Key buildings must be kept in a good state of repair. Alrighty. Let's repair some stuff then. Capture Romula. Okay. Better repair. Really not making much money. Where's Romula? There. Okay, well. I don't really seem to have too much there. So I think this guy might be our best bet. For the tribe. Your next command. Right, so they do keep... Looks like they keep regenerating. Warriors old. I wonder if we can get some more food from somewhere else. Let's see if we can get it from Petru, from Romula. Oh, I love the campaign map. So good. Things still seem a little bit laggy. Um, I've got this on, I think, lower settings than what I was playing Rome 2 on, and it definitely feels a bit slower. But hopefully once they the Ostrogothic optimize it, it'll be okay. Fortified. Siege weapons will be needed to capture it, Chieftain. Units of fighting men can be transferred between forces should the need arise, Chieftain. Divide your forces to deal with disparate threats, or march together so that they may... Right, so reinforcements the same. The people have revolted and taken up arms against our rule. Oh, no. For battle. I think some mercenaries would probably be good enough to do this. Oh. Oh, yeah. Actually, seeing as we're going to be building a second army anyway, we should just recruit some people. Not that we can really get too much here, but. It's going to recruit time, alright. Three units of two units of hand to hand should do it. Good summer. Oh, good summer means growth plus ten. Here is inhospitable, Chieftain, with little in the way of food or shelter to sustain us. Okay. We will surely lose men to the elements if we quarter in such a place. Swamps, deserts, and deep oceans. So I'm guessing that's a swamp. For the tribe. In reach, just. Battle is upon us, Chieftain, but do not grow weary. You need not oversee him. Yeah, we definitely want to resolve in that. Oh, they've got the same animations as this room. It's a little bit disappointing. Victory is ours, Chieftain. The fate 
of the men captured in battle is yours to decide. Oh, cool, you can ransom. It can be beneficial to hold them, but sometimes leniency or brutality can be worth more. Now let's take them on. Is there nothing else? Bonds forged between men in battle are not easily broken. Your army is becoming a force to be reckoned with. Be sure to guide its development to your benefit, Chief. Oh. Traditions. Oh, I don't really know what integrity does, but... Quite a weird mix of skills here. A lot of morale. Recruits aren't really that useful considering it's a full army. This is go integrity. I'm assuming it gives you some kind of integrity. There we go. Hopefully it's not just a measure of loyalty, but... Oh, I wonder if we can force much. Doesn't look like it. The men have marched all they can, Chieftain. They must rest. So you can change stances. Oh, be that. It's grayed out for the time being. I we got on this farm one more turn. Oh, I might have missed some information, but oh, oh that was our reward. It looks like I've left Romulo open, which is good. Time and money spent upgrading our infrastructure at home will repay us in battle. The fight. Well, apparently, that gave us enough food. We should aim to field the best equipped force we can muster. Build the farm. Winter's mist. Blood boars. Oh, we can sustain them now, so. Just chill out. Right, public order's going up. I wonder if we're in a position where we can... Move these guys out now. Uh, mercenaries still, that's the problem. No, they're not that expensive though. Oh, I've got to work out how to disable that. Ah, oh, they brought back merging, that's awesome. Ready I hated not being able to do that in Rome. Upgrade these guys. March down here and use them as a... Destination reached. Uh, recruit for mercenaries to fill them up. Action casualties. Ah, oh, that's awesome, actually have it split up in terms of um, different categories. Money from a husbandry, plus 40. And for additional food, plus 6 per local fertility level. Food plus 10. So this thing gave us what? 72. I don't... Oh, oh, so it gave us 36, I see. And then plus 5 per local fertility. So, how do we work out? No, I can't access the strategic overview yet. So, apparently, all the regions have fertility ratings, and that changes as the game goes on. But let's, um, let's just pump up. Um, food for the time being. Wood 
Carver. Dramatic bows. Yeah, that sounds good. Might as well upgrade everything we can for now. What's our next, next technology going to be? I love this how you go from Germanic hunters to German or Germanic bows to Germanic hunters just as a result of upgrading um, upgrading tech. It's such a good idea. For the tribe. All right, so we should be there next turn. The for the tribe. Don't have any siege units for this guy, so I'm actually bring him back and get some homages once this is finished. Assuming you can still build siege units, but or siege equipment, I should say. Still trying to decide which faction to play. I think I'm going to go. The more I think about it, the more I think I want to do the Vandals. I've been playing a few multiplayer battles with them, and they seem seem pretty good. Our warriors gain experience as they fight. Put their expertise to good use. Petrodar was still going up. It's good. I wonder if we can see what they've actually got there. Uh, Romula. Almost nothing. But just to make sure, let's get a few more units. Oh, you can get mercenary on it. Didn't really have to go back. Shift to click higher. Oh, it's the big button. Oh, what? Where do all these guys come from? Ah, uh, so I see. Right, well, we're not going to attack that just yet. But maybe if we do this. Go crazy. Now let's see where we go. Siege to their hovels. All right, let's jump in. Gonna have to do it anyway, by the looks of things. It looks like they've got archers as their main advantage over us, but I think. Uh, mercenaries will be stronger. Oh, uh, sorry. Slingers or chuckers or whatever they're called. I'm so glad Folksman is still in this. I love those things. The only weapon that I ended up missing in uh, Rome really was uh, Seeker units for the Illyrians. I don't think Sierra's is going to add it in now, but it would be good if they did. Make that faction just a little bit more interesting. Battle of Romula... Romulus? It's not Rome, but whatever. Hmm, Fog's a cool idea. Let's go. Go for it. This always makes it a mission to see what's going on. Anyway. Most of the Germanic warbands, I'm assuming they beat Germanic levy. Oh, it's so cool that you can compare like that. Oh, not by much. Oxman probably will. I think we'll use... 
things. Ow. I wanted to take out some towers. Attacking over here will be pretty, pretty good. Going fog, but whatever. So we pikes. Um, we have pikes and foxmen on one side, I think. It's annoying. Once you group them, you can't. The default isn't to drag them. The default is to lock them into. Lock them into position, so you've actually got to hit Control G twice if you use the shortcuts. That's all right. I'll get used to it. It's just a little bit of a change. Um, put these guys. So it's a pretty big front, actually. Might just keep everyone together. I mean, it is good, you can kind of really toggle them. Oh, what? Where'd they go? So now they did one. It's a little bit strange, but anyway. These guys can be our assault troops. Alright, let's see what onages are like. Let's get some fire going. Just to see what it's like. Once again, we do battle with the enemy. Present arms, men. Show them how a Visigoth oh, fights. Oh, there's the onager. Let's get our cavalry around there. I wonder if flaming is still less accurate. Much slower reload. Maybe I should have sent something around that was a little bit heavier, but. Alright, just keep going around. And still haven't hit anything. Yeah, alright, that's not working. Guys, I think Levy have precursor javelins. Yeah, right, they seem to be wearing them down. Just finish using them, and then we'll get out of there. Got plenty of units here. Okay. Oh, these guys going. Precision shot. Yeah, let's get some precision shooting going. Oh wow, that makes a big difference. Just want to get it to a point where they can't. Oh, we're out of ammo. Alright, well, you guys better get out of here. Hopefully that at least disables a few of their onages. How are we going here? Our men come under fire. 
Oh, that's cool. Um, I zoom to where this is happening. Shooting it's my cavalry, but. So is that on? There we go, that's on. Uh, these guys come here. You know, four. I don't really like splitting troops up, but I guess it has to be done. How much damage have we actually done here? Well, it's done a little bit. It's done a bit. Wonder if you can still. Yes. And that's why I let the AI do the shooting. Unfortunately, we're going to be fighting up the, back, up the hill here, but I think we might actually send in our uh, warband first. Bring the general over this side and support them. That little box there should be enough to let our guys flank. We can pin them in the side there and then bring our guys around the back. With a fair bit of damage, and then we can bring our cavalry in. Go Foxman. Or Phallix, or whatever you can have you said. Well, oh, that did a lot of damage. Well, they probably weren't on full strength anyway. They should carve through there. It's good alright now. I have to pull some of these guys back. Is it a break it and get the cavalry through? Sound drivers for the sounds of things. Oh, it looks like we're starting to win this exchange. The enemy general has been dragged to the ground and run through. No, that's good. And the route's beginning. Well, this is like super easy mode because it's the prologue, or if this is kind of what morale's actually like.
I'm a little disappointed how inaccurate that um orange was, but maybe that's just how it is now that uh, you or because I attacked in the fog, in which case it's very cool. And you guys stay there. Oh, this is going to be great. Foxman was going to carve through here. The enemy are broken. They turn and run. This oh. battle is ours. That was easy. Alright guys, we'll leave this episode there, don't want to make these too long because it is only the prologue and I don't want people to lose interest, but I'm going to keep going with it, so there'll be another video up shortly. Um, if you have any thoughts about what faction you'd like to see me play, or if you think there's a faction out there that some of the more popular channels haven't been doing that you want to see, then let me know. Um, trying to make a channel where I can produce videos that people want to see um, and I'm obviously wouldn't say competing with but um, I definitely won't blame people for going and going to the usual big channels so if there's something I can do uh, I'm willing to listen to it and do pretty much whatever you want in terms of campaign or battles or whatever it doesn't really bother me and uh, just remember to hit thumbs up if you got anything out of this video, just so I know in the future that it's something that people enjoyed. Um, you can hit subscribe, if, if, even if you don't want to see any more of the prologue. That way you'll at least be able to keep track from time to time of videos as I put them up. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, Prince Machiavelli. Have fun.